Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? How's it going? You know, this is Raw Combat 74. Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, you know, if you're built to brawl, if you're wanting to cut Raw Combat training, you know, I'm the person to go for. If you want to, you know, more information on fighting itself or just gen things generally um, the thing of it is people the thing of it is most of the time most people nowadays they tend to see to get a black belt and they brag about their skill and then they try to show off their skill and stuff and they don't do good and that's the thing, you know. When you boost the ego by telling people that you are black belt. If you boost the ego by telling people why you are a fucking black belt. Black belts don't mean shit. Black belts don't mean shit. A black belt in a real street fight don't mean shit. Unless you know how to apply the stuff on what you learn into reality. Then it could come down to being real shit. And that's the thing. People, you know, we don't train make stuff here. We train real. And me, do I have a black belt? Yes. Can I own up to it? Yes. I have a certificate in a black belt system. So, I can vouch on how I fight too. If you call ATA, Howard's ATA Martial Arts in Jeff City, he'll tell you on what type of student I was when I sparred in his tournament. Man, in his class, he knew what type of fighting person I was in his school. That's where I got my black belt from, was ATA Martial Arts. He knew I was a serious learner when it comes to fighting. And that's the thing, people. When it comes to fighting, you gotta take your training serious. You gotta take your training very serious. You know, I don't care about some of these gurus on there, you know, proclaim you know, to be real martial artists and everything else, you know, there are some out there that I can tell that are fake, but the ones that are testing their skill, me, I'm going to come through with my buddy Alex, you know, doing what he's doing with me, and I'm kind of getting the feel, because really, really technically, the pad holder, you know, eventually later on down the road, we might end up sparring, because that's what he wants to do. And so I love sparring, um, but I just don't want to get nobody hurt because I don't want to hurt him and he doesn't want to hurt me. And, but we'll do it with gloves on, you know, just to be safe. And we'll probably do it with a little bit of protection, protective gear. But no matter what, if you still have protective gear on, you're still training for raw combat. Because really, technically, you know, with your training with the training partner, you're really not trying to kill your partner. You're not really trying to kill your partner, and and that's the thing. Most people tend to see to say, "Oh, what? You know, why you use gear? Why you use this? You know, why you do this? Why you have your hands down low?" Well, one reason why I have my hands down low, yeah, it might be a great encounter, you know, it might be an opening for the other person in my face, but really technically, the reason why I have my hands down low, that's just how I fucking fight, guys. That's just how I fucking fight. I have my hands low. So, but number one rule is that I always have my chin tucked. And everything that I do in training, I always have my chin tucked. 
And that's the key to training and self-defense. Always make sure your chin is tucked. That way the opponent can't have the chance to grab you by the neck. And the number one rule is to never fucking underestimate your opponent. I don't care how tall the guy is. I don't care how buff the dude is. I don't care what size, what age, what what gender. Don't ever underestimate your opponent. Number two. Number two, protect yourself at all times. Protect yourself at all times because you never know. You never know what could happen. Always be alert. And number three, Fight dirty. Fight dirty if you have to to win. Because in a real fight, anything goes. Anything fucking goes. And that's all I'm going to say. Because that's the thing. Most people don't know what combat's about. One, stand up good fighting stance too never take your eyes off your opponent and having your chin tucked at all times three never underestimate your opponent have your guard up four move around and fight dirty and five and watch your surroundings so that's a key factor to Martial arts itself, that's how I train, is to learn to fucking, you know, watch my surroundings, make sure, you know, nobody's going to do anything suspicious or anything like that. You know, that's the thing. 7 McDonald 4, Raw Combat, signing out.